From Shaun of the Dead to Hot Fuzz and The World's End, Nick Frost is without a doubt extremely funny. But can he dance? In his new film, Cuban Fury, Frost answers that question. He plays a child prodigy salsa dancer who, upon growing up, leaves his talents behind and turns into an office worker. He's then forced to dust off his shoes and get back on the dance floor to woo his new boss. Oh! Are you all right? Where am I? Am I in England? No, I'm fine. <laughs> she is beautiful. Mm. Way out of my league. She's like a 10, I'm a 2. It's like a butterfly going out with a parsnip. You've got to put yourself out there. They can notice you, Bruce. Ah! 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 Was there pastry in this bag? Yeah, I had an ice bun. And Nick Frost joins us on set now. Nick, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What a ridiculous notion that I might do a dance film. <laughs> well, it is a ridiculous notion, and apparently it was born out of, what, a, a, a drunk email? No, I mean, I was sober when I had the idea, but the drunken the drunkenness... Because I had the idea for about three years, and I never told anyone. I didn't even tell Simon Pegg that I wanted to do a film where um, I played a dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah... The, Why didn't you tell anybody? Because I was afraid that if I told someone, someone might like it, and then I might have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so one, yeah, one night I came in from a party and kind of a little bit steaming and, uh, and wrote this email. I kind of pitched the idea in this drunken email and sent it off to Naira, my producer, mm -hmm. and woke up the next day with that awful guilt that you get when you, send when drunk you text French and kiss an auntie. <laughs> uh, and there was a reply from Naira that said, uh, let's do it. So she says, let's do it, and yeah. for you, does the, is that when the fear sets in? Well, I think, no, I mean, I think I always, I always wanted to do a film where I danced a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just happy that I got caught, you know. I then had to commit to doing it. Yeah. And I think that's when there's, I think there's an hour into the training period when I realized what I'd done. And that, we actually have someone from our community who's asking about that training period. This is from a fan of yours, Jennifer, and asked, did you really take salsa lessons to prep for this role? And you did, right? Yeah, I did. I trained for seven hours a day, um, every day for seven months, um, which is cray-cray. Um, it's such a long time, too, when you, when you just start, you think, oh, this is a long time. Seven hours a day? Yeah, if you had to do seven months in prison. <laughs> it would seem like it was forever, you know. At least in prison, you didn't have to dance every day. You well, have a choice. No, I, was in, I felt like I was in dance prison. Yeah. <laughs> which just sounds like a nice place to be, right? Was it nice to be able to, to learn how to dance? Were you excited to do that, though? Yeah, no. Uh, in, <laughs> in hindsight, um, it was an amazing thing that I got to do. Um, I was trained by some of the world's best salsa dancers. Um, and... I think that's what I always wanted to do. I wanted to put myself to the test as a man and see if I could do it and to see if I could do something. You know, Ed in Shaun of the Dead and Andy in World's End and, and, and Danny Butterman, they, they're kind of easy, you know, because they're written beautifully by Simon and Edgar and they know my strengths and then the three of us then create these films. So that's kind of easy, you know. What, what was hard was, was being, being a dancer. Uh, <laughs> So you set this up to challenge yourself in, in certain ways. Did you feel like, yeah. you, you know, it, while it was fun and it was challenging for a while to work with Ed and Simon, that maybe it was time to sort of put something out there that was a little more difficult? Yeah, I, I just I didn't want to be typecast as, as that kind of character, you know. And uh, I think doing a film where I danced a lot seemed to be <laughs> the furthest possible yeah. thing I could do, you know. I think it's, I think it's good to be afraid mm -hmm. as, a, as a human being, you know. I think it... It kind of hones your, your, your senses slightly. I did once, uh, for a television programme, I was a crack and heroin addict, I once masturbated a man to the point of orgasm in a public bathroom, but it was for television.